Hey there, it's Susan. Welcome to my front porch. It's Wednesday, July 5th. I know a lot of folks had a day or two off for the July 4th holiday here in the U.S., uh, but we're catching up to the rest of the world and back at work. Uh, first of all, I've got a huge announcement coming at the end of this video clip, and I know you're going to want to hear about it because it's about how to grow your business and get publicity um, and get through all the questions and confusion surrounding PR. So stick around just for a couple of minutes with this video. You're going to learn some good tips here, too. Um, first of all, Somebody emailed me yesterday asking this very important question, and I know that she's asking it and other people have asked it too, so I've got to address it right now. Uh, she's asking, should I send my blog post to reporters? And I thought, oh gosh, don't do that. That's, it's going to kill your reputation. Chances are your blog post, the way that it's written right now, is not newsworthy, not valuable to reporters who are thinking, how does this impact or affect my audience, my readers, my listeners, my viewers? It probably doesn't. But the good news is, is that it can easily, if you tweak it and reframe it and mold it just a little bit into a valuable pitch. And the way to do that, here's the secret. Ask the question, what else, what else, what else? If you have your blog post and you're thinking, okay, this is a valuable blog post, but again, it's not newsworthy. It's not a value to the general public. Ask yourself, what else is this story about? Here's the example. Maybe you're partnering with a local nonprofit in your community and you are donating prom dresses to the local high school for some of the girls. Okay, what else is this story about? Well, um, there's a group of girls that need some mentoring and I've taken two of them under my wing to mentor them in my business. Okay, what else is this about? Um, one of the girls, uh, there was a fire in her house and her house burned down and now you know she's got this story. What else? So you dig away. The stories are always there. That's what I always find. 17 years as a PR entrepreneur, people will tell me, Oh, we don't have a story to tell. And I say, just trust me, let me come in and talk to your group for like, you know, half an hour, an hour. We'll have a, co a casual conversation. And chances are I will walk away with at least four or five, six different story ideas that are valuable stories right under your nose that I can identify that you didn't simply because I'm asking questions like what else, what else, what else? And so that's the key here is I always approach these situations as I think of myself as an emotional archeologist. I dig away with my invisible shovel. I dig away by asking questions like what else, what else, what else? And I ask good questions so I can get good information. So when I come to these meetings and I say, what else is this story about? And I reframe it and put a face on a story because remember, news is about people and people love great stories. So what are the stories you're trying to tell? People aren't, you know, news reporters don't care that your website was redesigned. No offense, they don't care about mine either. They, they care about how does this affect their readers and their audience. And that's our job. The people who want to get publicity, the entrepreneurs who want to promote business, we want to tell the reporters, why should you pay attention to my story? How does this affect people? Why should you care? And the way to do that is to dig away at those stories and ask those valuable questions, what else, what else, what else, and get to the meat and the heart of what a good story is all about. Now the good news is, um, if you're uh, frustrated at this, the good news is that it literally just takes a few times of asking those questions to dig away at those stories and to get your news antenna up. So you don't have to start the whole thing all over again. Chances are the story's there and it's a value. You just kind of have to pull it out a little bit. Now, don't worry, it doesn't hurt. Um, it will come out and you'll feel good about it because you'll have a great pitch to send to reporters. Um, it can get frustrating though. I, I know that. I, I get it. Um, this past weekend over July 4th, I went to the pool and I we read this book that I've read several times over my life, Jonathan Livingston Siegel. Reminds me that the only limiting beliefs that we have are inside our own heads, that it's an inside job, that everything is possible for us, especially as entrepreneurs. We need to stop doubting ourselves. We need to destroy those doubts and have that self-confidence to say, yeah, this is a good story. All I have to do is change this a little bit. This book, Jonathan Livingston Siegel, it's not about scavengers, you know, seagulls looking on the beach for food. It's about being able to fly higher and taking the constraints off of ourselves, knowing that it's not a book about food, but it's a book about life and how high we can fly and how we can take off those limits if we allow ourselves to do that. If we give ourselves the freedom to fly higher than anybody else. Yeah, we get pushed down. Yeah, we crash sometimes, but we can always fly higher if we believe that we can fly higher. So here's the big news for the announcement that I mentioned earlier. Uh, the Create Remarkable PR Now course, we have two payments. You're able to now make two payments instead of one, which makes it a lot more palatable 
for folks who want to join the course and become part of it and learn the nine modules, the step-by-step plan that I've developed that's earned me a six-figure income and can do the same for you to get publicity, contact with the influencers and reporters online, all of it, how to develop content, how to have an editorial calendar, how to have that self-confidence and come up with pitches and story ideas, two payments now instead of one. Check out Create Remarkable PR Now. It's on the GetInFrontCommunications.com website and the special ends this Friday, July 7th. So make sure you hit this deadline and join in. Uh, plenty of uh, support, one-on-one mentoring with me, tons of bonuses and the special. What else, what else, what else? It's all there. Let's get to it.